So this is a really exciting time during the last five to seven years. The draw to new companies in the region has been incredible. If you look at the time that the Amazon announcement was made to today, we're seeing an explosion in the interest of investors and the interest of large companies. With all these tech companies coming to the region, they're all competing for the same top talent. The numbers in terms of the needs for cybersecurity are in the tens of thousands in this region alone. So we've committed to producing thousands of additional students over and above what we would normally produce at George Mason University. So we've got to recruit hundreds of new faculty to teach those students, and we need new facilities to teach students and offer those hands-on learning opportunities to train students to be able to work and function in a world in the future where we can't even imagine what those disruptive technologies will be. And so we're designing a new facility here in Arlington, a 400,000 square foot building that will be home, nexus of all we do around digital innovation. The development that's happening here will look a lot like Silicon Valley, but we can do better. To really have an equitable economy, an equitable tech sector, everyone has to have access to resources. Everyone has to have access to capital. We want this building to be a beacon for the larger community. We are the 15th most diverse university in the United States. And of course, we want diverse founders, women, people of color, people who are starting companies who look like our diverse student body, providing that really rich community for innovation. Last year, Mason had a $2 billion impact on the Virginia economy, and we did that through all of our support of small businesses and early stage technology companies. This new facility will be as activated as our other Mason Enterprise Centers with education and training, as our small business development centers. We didn't want to build just another academic building with just students and faculty. We want to bring in partners who can bring their perspective. They'll want to do this for a number of reasons. They want to be near the talent. They want to be able to be close to our students to build their reputation so that students choose to work with them. They want to be near our talent so that they can further help us define the programs that will train the students. And so about a third of the building will be devoted to partner space. There's a sharing that happens between research and industry where researchers get to hear about the problems that they're trying to solve. For student talent, this represents an opportunity to work at an early stage tech startup on a really cool technical research project on something in cybersecurity, for example. An industry gets to think about the research that's being produced. We're really excited about what's happening here. And you can see an innovation district that's forming in Northern Virginia, in Mason, where we are the intersection of economic development, technology, commercialization, uh, and education. This is the coolest place to be in the country right now.